Welcome back everybody, I'm Sody. I'm Nick. And today we're gonna to go ahead and talk about the swinging flow chart that Ben and Chad referenced uh, in one of the previous weeks in their last video. And so Nick, in this flow chart, uh, we're walking people through potential reasons that they could struggle either with the distance their ball flies or the direction that the ball will go. Right. So one of the first areas that we're gonna go ahead and explore is what we call the divot. So Nick, if you struggle with distance, what is one of the first things you search for in your game? I'm gonna look at divot every time. It's probably the first thing that I'm gonna, you know, one of the first things I'm gonna focus on and then, you know, going through that process of what's really affecting the divot. So one of the first things that we're gonna talk about in relation to the divot is the swing height. Nick, what do you think I mean by swing height? I'm, I'm assuming probably how high I can swing, swing the club off the ground or no? Uh, you nailed it. You nailed it. Uh, so what we know uh, is that for the divot part of the equation, you have to have the appropriate swing height. And what we're referring to is how high or low in relation to the ground you swing the club. So Nick, for the viewers at home, go ahead and show us what would happen if you took your swing but swung the club too high. Sure. Eek. How'd that feel? Didn't feel great. Got it. Most people would refer to that as either a thin shot or, I mean, you could even go higher and top it, right? Absolutely. What's the opposite of swinging too high? Swinging too low. Got it. So for the viewers at home, go ahead and show them what it looks like when you swing it too low. Sure. Got it. Got it. So if you were to do that, a big beaver pellet would fly, right? Right. Absolutely. Might, uh, might get that ball not to fly as far as you would want. Hurt the hands a little bit. For sure. For sure. Now. Nick was demonstrating there that he could swing the club too high and too low and through more training. Uh, as you do that, you'd be able to find the right height for you. So Nick, for the people at home, go ahead and show them what the appropriate height would be. All right. Uh, that felt pretty good, right? Felt great. Awesome. So what we want you people to do is go ahead and uh, experiment with the swing height at home. And as you start to experience too high and too low, begin to calibrate yourselves for what feels just right for you and enjoy more distance.